You want signings? You want players? You want people in this? What? Okay then, let's talk about a potential player coming in then. Thank you for letting me indulge a little bit on that opening bit, just trying something a little bit different. So, uh, welcome to the Punk Jeff 41 channel. I am your host, Jake, the resident punk in the channel. And welcome to a video where we're going to be talking about tra uh, transfer. We haven't been able to do many of these because we haven't done many. That's been a kind of the running theme. People have been like, we need players in, oh, I don't try transfers in. And we don't need a lot, let's be honest. But before we get into that, let's have the usual feel out of the way. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces. And subscribing lets me know you like the channel. And it doesn't cost anything. And if you hit that notification bell, bell it'll let you know when videos go live. And when um, live streams happen. Um, yeah. Let's talk about this then. So, Michael Hector. We know he's been training at the club. We know that Darren said that he's in the thing. He looks okay. It sounds like we're about to hold crunch talks with a potential deal for my Michael H Hector later this week. This could be a big announcement for us to go. Right, we've got Hector in. It's another steady, stable defender. Now, for me, you give him either a six-month contract or 12 months, and then you go from there because we know what Michael Hector can do. Granted, he's not played a lot of games, but if he gets back to the form he was when he was with us, this is a 30-year-old defender with a lot of experience in the game that makes us, again, more solid at the back. He can play that um, out from the back that we like to do well. Him and I offer together seems like a good co combination. Uh, Michael Hector and Michael Owickway at the back seems like a good combination. You've got very strong defenders there, and that would really help us going forward. And then you put in the likes of Akin and Palmer, who can play either side in that defence as well. This puts a lot more options for our defence that we've missed all this season. Let's be honest. This season, we have really struggled to get some of the defending right. Getting in Mark McGuinness was really good. It helped us superbly. We missed out on McNally. He'd gone to Coventry. Um, but remember... McGinnis wasn't ever meant to be in the squad in the first place. He was a replacement for Akin Fenwu. So we have this situation where we get Michael Hector down to a decent deal, decent, not, not a stupid wage, but a decent wage as well, where he can slot into that and come in when we need him. It'll be superb. We will have more defensive options then, which will be great. Because, come on. Who's telling me, as a Wente fan, you would not want to see him back in a Wente shirt doing the business like he did last time? He was so good last time. And I know I've said in the past, you don't want to sometimes go back for former players. But at the same time, this was a loan that we wanted to keep him and couldn't. He already knows the club. So there's none of that having to work out. Yes, there's a new kind of dynamic now with Darren Moore. We still know Baz. He still knows Hunt this bit of season the Dawson will have still win, been there at that time there's still Palmer's there there's still a lot of players who's there and a lot of the people behind the scenes will still be there this makes sense I think when they should get this done soon uh he'd been training with a bid to do it uh, the report from the Yorkshire live at Zavid said Hold couldn't talk with Hector Revs later this week. It remains to see whether or not the fan favourite uh, winders up returning to the club on a permanent base, but they seem the talk could determine just how the situation plans out. The thing is with this, couldn't talk, representation, all that kind of stuff. He's a free agent, so we have a little bit where we can take our time, but I personally, if we can get a deal here that's not and dash wages and decent for him and the club, take this deal. Personally, do this deal for me. So let me know what you think about these crunch talks for Hector. 